Ayan. Okay. Again, hi everyone. I'm so sorry na karon ng ano no, yung audio niya to na eyes. Anyway, uh, welcome to Flip Channel and this time we are going to have our fast drills live session. So currently, we already have our nine session. Kung natatandaan niyo, meron tayong nine speakers every subject sa general education, specifically for public communication, mathematics in the modern world, Philippine history, Life and Works of Rizal, English Grammar and Literature, and last but not the least, is the Science and Technology. Now, at this point, we will no longer have that kind of discussion. Instead, we will have a 50-item general education test. It's like a summative test. Okay, so I think everyone is already ready. Okay, tingnan niya natin, patingin niya ako ng mga ready na ng mga LPTs for tonight. Gabing gabi na. Pero you are still here and you are with us. Bear with the noise. Pero tayo biglang ano no? Ah, sugo subak. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, start now with our uh, fast din. Sugo natin pa topic topic pa. So welcome. This is every 10th live session. So every time we will be having a live session here with fast drills, okay, or what we call flip drills, we will be having the fast drill. This time, we will no longer have a rationalization. Dire-diretso lang tayo na puro questions. Okay, tingnan natin kung may natandaan ba kayo dun sa mga previous discussion that we had. Okay, from the uh, from the nine. So, it's like self-review again with Sir Job. Live via, of course, YouTube. And we are going to share this on our Facebook. So, yeah, this will be a 50-item fast drills. I hope you are all ready. Patingin nga ako ng mga heart ninyo din sa my YouTube channel. Patingin nga. Yes, let me, let me take a look with those uh, hearts that we see. Ayan, nakikita ko mga nag-heart na sa ating YouTube. Okay, hold on for a moment. Alright, so general education ang focus natin. We are hoping that starting next week, proceed naman tayo sa professional education. So, ano po ba ang mga gagawin dito? These are just some of the reminders. So, we are going to read to you the question, pero yung pagdating naman doon sa choices, kayo na yung bahalang magbasa. And then, it will be 30 seconds. You will be given 30 seconds. You already encountered this question. So, feeling ko, alam nyo na dapat yung sagot. Parang, pinapractice natin dito yung memory nyo, the same time yung keywords, pati yung skills, tsaka yung tips and hacks kung paano ba magsagot sa isang question. Okay? Ayan, nakikita ko. Ang dami mga hearts. Si Edward, si Marichu, si Dana, Dana, Christian, Anjanette, Daisy, si Diane, yeah, Miriam, Myra, yeah. So, si Jane, Jean, Bato, John, yeah. So, nakita kayo mga hearts. So, good evening to everyone here, lalo yung mga active na active. So, you comment your answer, ha? Titignan natin yung mga answers nyo, if right or wrong. Okay lang yan na magkamali as long as you're honest. Okay, correct answer will be revealed after every question and there will no longer be rationalization. Hindi na po namin i-explain, okay? Dahil na-explain na to last time. Question and answer na tayo. Okay? Parang summative test. So, you record your score. Pa-record po. Ha? Pwede kayong may papel tapos mag-comment din kayo sa YouTube natin para dahil monitor nyo. Be honest and of course, do your best. Let's see if you still remember what we have discussed. And also, you take a screenshot and comment it to our post later on. Pwede kayong mag-share parang memory to na ah, nakakuha ko ng blank over 50 dito sa test natin. Okay? So, Start na tayo. Feeling ko, um, ano na sila, excited. Some big disclaimers. Ito na yung mga disclaimers namin. Alam nyo na to na these questions are not 
uh, is not our own. Medyo mga tin, uh, meron tayong mga tin week. If ever that there will be corrections, you can point it out. But of course, in a nice and a very professional way. So yeah, let's start our fast drills. Kaya nga fast, 30 seconds lang. I will be reading the question and I will give you 30 seconds after. So let's have the question number one. Which figure of speech is used in the following line, the moon dance in the night sky? All right, time's up. The correct answer for this one? Perfect. It's letter B. Lahat na nagsagot sa, uh, sa ating YouTube channel ay nakatama. Let's proceed with number two. What is the real name of the famous American writer who hides with the pseudonym Mark Twain? All right, time's up. The correct answer for this one is letter letter A. It's Samuel Clements. May nakita kong letter A, mostly letter A. Very good. Number three question. She is a vision of feminine poetry. This line stands for the following, except timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. I see some answers letter A, pero tandaan nyo ha, nakalagay dyan except yung kakaiba. Next, so uh, the pulchitude here, the feminine vision is homeliness. Ayun po yung opposite. Next, number four. 700 is what percent of 416? Time's up. The correct answer is letter D. Okay? It's 168.27%. So who got the correct answer? So far, so good. Let's proceed with number five. Change the following percent to decimal. 23%, 5%, 3%, and 3.5%. Timer starts now. All right, time is up. 
So, our correct answer for number five is letter C. Feeling ko tama lahat ng mga nagsagot so far. Ang, ang gagaling ng mga kasama natin. Sino na ba ang mga nakaka-perfect ang score so far? Number five, five questions na tayo. Can I see those? Pa-hard naman kami ng mga nakaka-perfect na. Patingin nga ng five over five. Meron na ba tayo? Nakaka-perfect score? Sige. Madami tayo. We are currently 56 here right now in our YouTube live. At nakakatuwa. O may, 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 may sad react, no? Pero okay lang yan sa mga nagsasad react. Four over five. Ayan. Okay lang yan. So, may nag-5 over 5, si Krim Rabino. Perfect. Edward Amora, 5 over 5. 4 over 5, si Christian. Si Anjanet. Uh, sino pa? Si Edward ay 5 over 5 din. Ayan. Si Joren. Ay, hindi. Hindi pala. Let's answer pala yon. Si Krem Jimenez is 3 over 5. Ah, na-late siya. Okay lang yan. Si, ayan. Okay. So far, so good. Let's proceed naman tayo sa ating question number 6. What is the prime factors of 120? So, meron tayong mga latecomers. Welcome again to class drills. Wala tayong rationalizations. Mabilisan tong test. Okay? Nakikita ko yung mga scores. Si Mary Chu, 2 over 5. Okay lang yan. Si Maria, 5 over 5. Si Daisy, 4 over 5. Okay, nakikita ko ang uh, mga, sag uh, mga sagot nyo so far. Some answer C, some answer B. Ano bang tamang sagot dito? The correct answer for number 6 is letter... Okay, it's letter B. Okay, again, prime factors of 120, it's letter B, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 5. Okay? Okay lang yan. Kaya nga tayo nagtatest ngayon. Kung ang matanghila, ibabawiin natin yan sa ibang... Uh, subject. Yes, that's correct. Four is not a prime number. Let's proceed with number seven. The Republic Act, which mandated the teaching on life, life and works of Rizal in all colleges and universities. What do you call that Republic Act? While waiting, nakita ko to si Christian from Zamboanga. Wow, Zamboanga del Norte po pala galing yung iba. Hello, how about the others? Lalo yung mga nakasagot na. Sige, taga saan kayo? Sulat niyo dyan ah. Okay. Time is up. What's the correct answer? Okay, tama. Kabisado ng mga LPTs ngayon. Future LPTs natin. It's letter C. RA1425. Tandaan niyo yan. Okay, so si Daisy, taga Mandawe City, and si Anjanet from Nueva Ecija. Let's proceed with number eight. Where did Rizal first formally study? Okay, so we have here si Krim Rabino from Sibuyan, from Blon. From uh, Mark and si Mark Anthony Balon. From Liloy, Zamboanga del Norte, too. That's nice. Si Diane, mas bate, but nasa Cebu ngayon. Isa mo yun? From uh, Edward Amora, from Bulacan daw siya. Okay, the correct answer for this one. Ayan, nagkakalot-lagtuhan na sila. Ayan, alam niyo ba, nung nilabas din niya ng speaker namin, marami din talagang nagkalituhan. Pero the correct answer for number eight let, is letter C. It's Binyan. Okay, first formally study. Okay? It's been yan. Next. Hindi po kalamba ha, para sure tayo. It's been yan. Tingnan niyo po yung panong. First formally study. May word na formally. Number nine. Which of the following best describe the influence of Pasiano to Jose Rizal? Okay. We also have here Christian Rolla from Vegan City, Geneva Opinion from Camarines Sur, Bicol. Wow, that's nice. Si Marichu Supilanas from Kawit, Cavite. Ang lalayo ng mga pinanggalingan ng mga LPTs namin. Nakakatuwa naman na nag-sama-sama tayo dito. 
Okay. The correct answer. What's your answer for number nine? Okay. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. He was the first one to open the eyes of Rizal on what is happening around the city. Remember the Gombursa? Siya yung naka-witness nun along with Pashano. So that's the reason why uh, Pashano is one of Rizal's inspiration. Eh, siya yung kuya. Next, number 10. Question number 10, tignan tayo. Currently, we, al we are already 60. Question number 10, what was the last word spoken by Rizal before he died? A, B, C, or D? Patingin na mga sagot nyo. Anong sagot natin sa number 10? Okay. The correct answer for number 10 is letter B. Okay. It's consumatum est. So, yung last word na sinabi po ni Rizal, is letter B. So, so far, nakantay na tayo. Ano na pong scores? Patingin nga ako kung ilan na ang scores nyo so far. Sige nga, bilangin natin. Nakakailan na tayo? Over 10? Meron ba? May, uh, may naka, naka 5 over 5 ganina? May naka 10. Over 10. Okay, let's see. All right. So, yeah, let's proceed. Question number 11. Which of the following has the greatest value? Okay, the correct answer for number 11 is, let's see. Okay, letter, number 11 is letter B, one half. So, ang tip lang dyan, gagawin nyo lang siyang decimal. Very good, ang mga LPTs natin, lahat nakatama ata sa number 11. It's very obvious, okay? Nakita ko dito si Daisy, 8 over 10 daw siya. Okay, I see. That's good. Next, number 12. In math test, 8 students obtained the following scores. Ah, oh, I think this one, medyo kulang tong scores na to. Tama ba? Kulang yung details. Okay, I think we have to skip this one. At dahil dyan, meron tayong bonus question. Hindi natin nasama. Hindi natin nasama yung mga other details for this one. So yeah, oh, may plus one na kayo ah. May bonus tayo this one. Number 13, let's proceed. <laughs> he is regarded as the father of algebra. Who is the father of algebra? Okay, the correct answer is 13D. It's uh, Al Parisi. Number 14. Question. For post communication, which of the following is not a characteristic of effective communication? Timer starts now.
sa mga medyo naglalag, no? may mga naglalag kasi okay lang yan kasi live naman to. Pwede nyo balikan. Okay? Para yung mga questions makita nyo rin. Uh, so far, ang update, meron tayong bonus sa uh, isa. May bonus question tayo na isa. Okay, number 14. Time's up. The correct answer for number 14 is letter C. Ang big bitty. Perfect. Tama yung mga nasa comment se uh, section. Nakikita ko yung mga sagot niya. Very good. Number 15. In the communication process, the primary role of the receiver is to A, B, C, or D. All right, time is up. Everyone answered letter B. Is that the correct answer? Is B the correct answer? That's right. Letter B, decode a message. Receiver is decode. Sender is encode. Next, number 16. Which of the following is an example of nonverbal communication? While we are waiting, we have here Ms. Nurfaida, my right, Nurfaida Karim from Marawi City. Napakalayo. Nakakatuwa na magkakasama tayo ngayon sa live. I am seeing your answers in our YouTube. Sige nga. The correct answer, time's up for number 16, is letter C. Very good. It's facial expression. That is a non-verbal. Number 17, what does the R in the RACI or R-A-C-I matrix stand for? Shout out tayo sa mga bagong pangalan na may kita ko that, that are, uh, who are answering right now. Hi kay Jamaica, kay uh, Tracia, Glide, kay Sesu, kay Richard, kay Nerfaida, sino pa ba mga bago? Si Sir Karens, or Ma'am Ma Sir Karens, yan, si Arjun, yan, si B, yan, mga bagong pasok, no? si Richard, uh, okay, hi, welcome to Click Channel. The correct answer for number 17 is... Letter A, responsible. Tama, ang gagaling ng mga nasa comment section na alala nila. Baka nag-review pa ng mga nakaraan. Okay, number 18. What is the value of x plus 2 if 4 times x minus 3 plus 14 equals 22? Tignan natin kung may natatandaan sila dito. Time's up. The correct answer for number 18 is letter C. It's 7. Okay? Okay lang yan. Okay? Yung mga nag -ano na pa. Because it's X plus 2. Okay? Next. Let's proceed. Number 19. The blank or the enlightened ones who studied in Europe during Spanish colonization in the Philippines. Who are these people? All right, time is up. The correct answer is 
letter C. It's illustrados. Next, number 20. Which religious missionaries first arrived in the Philippines? First religious missionaries. Some answers A, some answers B, pero din mga letter C. The correct answer for number 20 is letter B, Agustinians. So they are the first one who arrived in the Philippines. So we are already in our 20th question. Let me see. Patingin ang mga scores nyo. Okay lang yan. Kung mababa man, pagpataas, if, ano, kailangan ibandera yan. Okay. Ano nang mga score ng mga future LPTs natin? Patingin niya kami. Let's uh, shout out. Shout out natin yung mga scores nyo. Regardless. Okay, regard. O kaya may pakot. Yan, nakita ko si Diane. 17 over 20. Good. Si Cream, it's 18 over 20. Si Edward, 16 over 20. Anjanet, 15 over 20. Christian, it's 15 over 20. Arjun, it's 18 over 20. Si Jorin. Si Jorin, bakit naka-21 na? <laughs> red again, nag-ready lang siya sa 21. No? Si Jorin, 17 over 20. Si CB daw late. Okay lang yan, CB. Meron namang, ano eh, uh, balikan mo na lang mamaya. Pwede mong i-comment mamaya, okay? Si Melody, 17. Si uh, William, Mr. Villanueva, 20. Wow, perfect. Si Jorin, 17. Si Rod, 17. Si Cecil, uh, 16, si Cram, 13, si Daisy, 15. Okay. Ayan, yes, tama yan, Edward. X is equals 5. Tapos X plus 2 kasi hinahanap, kaya naging 7. Very good. Si Norfaida, uh, nagkasagot pa pala si Norfaida. Si Marichu, 10 over 20. <laughs> Mat panira. At least nag 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 nade-review kayo ngayon, di ba? Okay. Let's proceed now. Ready na tayo? Number 21. Sige. Number 21. Legaspi concluded a blood compact with the chief of Bohol in 1565. Who is referred to? Again, Legaspi concluded a blood compact with the chief of Bohol in 1565. Who is that chief of Bohol? Okay, number 21, the correct answer is the chief of Bohol is letter B. Tama yung mga nasa comment section. It's si Katuna. Number 22, what is the oldest Philippine city? Okay, the correct answer for number 22, the oldest city in the Philippines is letter D. Everyone is correct, it's Cebu. Number 23, which law enacted by the U.S. Congress in 1916 established a bicameral legislator in the Philippines with the Senator and House of Representatives to be composed of elected Filipinos? U.S. Congress, elected Filipinos, 1960. Those are the keepers. Okay, the correct answer for number 23 is letter A, the Jones Law. Very good. Yan. Nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa. No? Na maraming nakakakuha ng tamang sagot. Tuloy-tuloy lang natin yan. Kaguruan. Let's proceed with number 24. Who is the greatest Malay descendant?
Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter A. It's Jose Rizal. Greatest Malay. Malay po si Jose Rizal. Kaya tama. Nakita ko lang dito yung kay Myra. Jones Law is equal to by camera lesson. That's right. Okay, let's proceed. Number 25. The editor found the new story not so entertaining. He found it full of black. Alright, time's up. Personally, maraming mga nalito sa, sa nalito dito sa question na to. Ako kasi yung nag, um, nagbanong nito back then. So the correct answer for number 25 is letter C, pronouns. Mabilis lang to ha. Bakit pronouns? Because among the given choices, yung pronouns po, yung functional. Okay? Yung iba ka second type of words. Si pronouns lang, yung function words. Kaya naman, hindi siya entertaining kasi puro pronouns. Okay? Next, number 26. Okay? Medyo mamba daw. <laughs> number 26. This zip word is difficult for Paul and Black. All right, time's up. The correct answer for number 26, I think everyone got the correct answer. It's letter C. It's me. Next, number 27. I have an appointment blank 3 o'clock this afternoon. What's the correct pre uh, preposition? All right, time's up. The correct answer, kapag nakikita nyo yung oras, okay, saktong oras, the answer is at, letter C, okay, 27, C, at. Next, number 28. Which sentence correctly uses neither nor with subject-verb agreement? Ayan. Habang binabasa nyo isa-isa yung mga choices namin, baka naman pwedeng makalambing kami ng like sa video na to, sa live video. Baka pwede namang i-like nyo itong video namin. At the same time, you can subscribe kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe para nakita nyo yung mga updated videos namin na makakatulong sa let review nyo. Okay. The correct answer for number 28 is letter B. Tama ang mga nasa comment section. It's letter B. Next, number 29. The teacher was asked to speak for her students when they won the speech choir competition. And so, she says, blank of my student, I want to thank. Time's up. Alright. The correct answer for this one, kapag nakikita niya na magkasalita, okay, sa parte ng mga kung sino man, the correct answer is letter A, on behalf.
perfect yung mga nasa comment section. Lahat. Tama. Letter A. Next, number 30. We're halfway. Okay, more than halfway na tayo. Tuloy-tuloy natin ito pangatay. The underlined word in the sentence below is an or a blank. She took the early train. The underlined word is early. What part of speech is that? Intindihin niyo mabuti yung sentence, makakaguruan na. Minsan kasi nakakalito talaga. Okay? Time's up. The correct answer for this one is letter... Patingin po ng tamang sagot. Letter A, adjective. Bakit adjective? Mabilisan lang to. Because of the word early. Kung titingnan niyo, kadalasan, yung word na early ay adverb. Pero dito sa sentence na to, ang dinidescribe niya ay yung train. Okay? Ano yung train? Early. Early train. Hindi po yung took. So the answer is letter A, number 30, adjective. Okay? Next, number 31. She bought blank new car yesterday. Which article should be used? hindi na masaktan yung sarili nyo kapag narinig mo kayo. <laughs> yung sarili na nga lang natin yung nagmamahal sa atin eh. <laughs> okay. Let's proceed. The correct answer for number 31 is letter A. It's a. She bought a new car yesterday. Kung gusto nyo malaman yung descriptive na rationalization na to, tingnan nyo yung playlist namin dito sa Flip Channel YouTube. Makikita nyo lahat ng mga discussion yung flip drills uh, session na ako yung nag-talk about grammar. Makikita niyo kung paano natin i-rationalize yun isa-isa. Okay po? Okay. Number 32. Nigwak <laughs> natuto. At least natuto. <laughs> Next. Why does the color of tomatoes turn red when ripe? This one is science. What is the correct answer? Sabi dito ni Kaiserine, sana po ganyan lang kadali ang mga ang exam sa September. Sana nga, no? Pero alam nyo, kaya kayo nadadalian kasi ine-expose niyo yung sarili niya sa mga questions. Kaya tama lang na magtanong kayo, magbasa-basa kayo, manood kayo na to ng mga ganitong video para napapadali sa inyo. ba diba? Ganun lang naman yun. Okay, the correct answer for number 32 is letter C. Okay, it's letter C. Balikan nyo yung discussion namin with Miss Kate Barcelo. Uh, Nirationalize niya rin itong mga ganitong questions sa science. It's chromoplast. Next, number 33. What do you call the condition characterized by the appearance of white skin, light brown hair, pink eyes, which is due to the absence of natural pigmentation? Okay, we're seeing common answers here. That's correct. The right answer for light, a white skin, light brown hair, it's albinism. Letter A. Okay. Number three is letter A. Next, A or D. Bakit naman dalawa? <laughs> Pero sige, pagbigyan natin yung nagdalawa. <laughs> Pero sa let, huwag tayo magdadalawa ang sagot. Baka ano rin ah. Okay, bakit lang hindi na makount yung, ano, yung sagot niyo. <laughs> okay, number 34. What part of the stem are the eyes of the potatoes? Yung mata daw ng patatas. Ayan. 
Ayan, shout out tayo kay Mr. Archie Fernandez Ganyo from Adiyongan, Gamblon. Hi po! Baka hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa kayo ng shout out ha. Pwede kayong mag, ano dito, maglagay ng names nyo tapos kung saan kayong lugar para makita natin kung saan saan tayo galing. <laughs> okay, the correct answer for number 34 is perfect. It's letter B, nodes. Ayan po yung mata ng patatas. Next, number 35. Which of the following human cell contains 22 pairs of autosomes and 2X chromosomes? Okay lang yung mga hindi sure sa sagot. Ang mahalaga na yung sasagot, tinatry natin yung best natin. Okay? So far, 50 plus pa rin tayo hanggang ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga hindi bumibitiw dito sa ating YouTube Flip Channel. Nakakatawa na kasama namin kayo sa aming fast drills. Okay, time's up. The correct answer uh, is letter number 35. Letter D, a female somatic cell. Tandaan niya yan ha. I-take note niyo kapag hindi uh, nagkamali kayo para next time pag na-encounter niyo, um, tama na. Next, number 36. Some genetic orders are caused by the damage to DNA which cannot be repaired. This shows blank. Okay, shout out tayo dito. Shout out po ma'am, Joren Desierdo. 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 Joren Desierdo from City Golden Friendship. Wow. Kagayan de Oro. Hi, Sir Doran. Good evening. Ayan, si Anjanette. Hello po. Hi, Anjanette. Ryo. Anjanette Ryo. Okay, let's see. What's the correct answer for number 36? Ano pong tamang sagot? 36 is mutation. Okay, letter A. Letter A, mutation. DNA which cannot be repaired. Take note niyo po yan ha. Balikan niyo rin yung live session namin with Ms. Barsalo para malaman niyo yung rationalization for each. Okay? Si Christian Arizo. Yan. Hi, it's Christian Arizo from Orchid City. Wow, very in Orchid City. No? <laughs> Wala ibang Orchid yan. Feeling ko. <laughs> Next, number 37. A person with diabetes has insulin deficiency. What organs secretes or secrete insulin? Okay, a shout out daw kay Norheim, ay, sorry, Norhamin Pasandalan, 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 uh, from North Cotabato. Hi, hi Mr. Norhamin. Hello po, good evening. The answer for number 37 is, letter C, it's pancreas. Okay, pag insulin, pancreas tayo. Next, hi Ms. Myra Sagun from Pangasinan. Grabe kung saan-saan tayo may lusong bisayas, may danaw, no? Nakakatawa, nakukompleto natin ang buong, buong Pilipinas. <laughs> Number 38, excessive presence of carbon dioxide in the air, trapping heat near the Earth's surface, causing a rise in temperature in the environment. What do you call this? Bakit naman ako magsasend ng question sa PRC, no? <laughs> Pwede naman. Bah- gusto ko rin yun. Kaso ano, alam ko yung mga questions sa'yo, nagagaling din yun sa mga kahit iba't ibang schools, eh. Okay. Next. The correct answer for number 38. Yeah, number 38 is letter B. So, carbon dioxide, heat, greenhouse effect yan. Okay? Shout out tayo from uh, B-Boy's Heart. Nakalit na B-Boy's Heart. So, from Palawan. Nice one. From Palawan. That's right. Okay. Let's see. Ayan. So, yung emoji ni Queen. Oh, cute. <laughs> Next, number 39. What causes high and low tides? Okay. 
ano, ito feeling ko alam na alam nila to eh. Ano nagko-cause ng high tide sa low tide? Gusto-gusto yan sa Pinas, lalo ngayon kakabahala. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B, moon's gravitational pull. So pag high tide, low tide, ang may kasalanan, buwan. <laughs> okay? Next, number 40. We're almost there, kakuruan. Which of the following statement is true for both sound and light waves? Okay, time's up. The correct answer for number 40 is both can be reflected. Lahat po sila, pareha sila, nagbabounce. Kaya letter A po ang tamang sagot for 40. Next, number 41. Which of the following is divisible by 3 and not by 9? Itong mat, medyo hahabaan natin yung time. Alright, number 41. The correct answer is... Letter B. Uy, nakakatawa. Ang galing. Galing na sa mat. nag improve na guys. Tuloy-tuloy na yan. <laughs> okay. So, 41. Letter B. Next. Number 42. Simplify 2 times negative 3 times 2 minus negative 4 times negative 5 minus 2. Timer starts now. You're welcome po, Sir Archie. Yeah, we're doing this para sa inyo. Diba? Para makapasa tayo. Makapasa kayo this, ano, this coming let, kung September man kayo or March. Okay, we have to follow PEMDAS here. And the correct answer is letter B, 14. Okay, next. Number 43, English. Ili Ili Tulog Anay is a an blank lullaby song. Ili Ili Tulog Anay. Alright, time's up. The correct answer for this one is letter A. It's Ilonggo. Kapag nakita niya yan, it's Ilonggo. Okay? Number 44. Which of the following poetic form focuses on nature and is characterized by a three-line structure consisting of five in the first, seven in the second, and five in the third line? What type of poetry is that? Time's up. The correct answer is letter D. Perfect, Guru An. Nakita ko yung mga sabit niya. Lahat naka letter D. Very good. Number 45. Anim na lang. The nibble lang the lead. It's nibble lang the lead. Pag, ano, pag, kapag nahihirapan kayong bagitan ngayon, alam niya na. Nibble lang the lead is a 
black. Okay, time's up. The correct answer for number 45 is letter D, Medieval German Epic. Perfect, kaguruan. Nakita ko lahat. Letter D ang sagot. Way to go. Number 46. The speech which Rizal made in the banquet to celebrate the twin victories of Luna and Hidalgo in the painting competition. Life and works of Rizal tayo ngayon. Naka-46 na tayo, apat na lang. So, itong speech na to, ito yung ginawa niya para kay Luna, kay Hidalgo, nung nala nanalo sila sa painting competition. Ano bang tawag doon sa speech na yun? Okay. Okay, the correct answer for number 46 is... Letter C. Gusto ko yung giggle ng letter C. C, 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 C. It's Brindis. Okay? Mag-speech siya kay Luna at kay Hidalgo. Brindis po yun. 47. What is the first course of Rizal in UST? Again, everyone, kung hindi pa kayo nakalike sa video natin, pwede, baka pwede namang makilambing kami ni Sir Job ng like button yeah, and subscribe na rin kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe. Okay, the correct answer for number 47 is letter B. Yan, yeah, lahat. Magla letter B. Hello po sa mga hindi sumusuko. Yan, yeah, gusto gusto ko yun. Nandiyan, nandiyan sila. Si Richard, si Jean, si Anjanet, si Jorwen, si Cecil, si Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Para ngayon ko lang nabasa. Diane, Casey Jean, um, Karen, si Arjan, si CB, si Kuya Archie, si Kriam, si Christian, si Edward, yan, si Richard, si Daisy, si Lorfaida, si Grace, yan. Hi, si Jamaica. Ayan. So, hi. Shout out ulit sa inyo. Number 48. Who was the last Filipino general who fought the Americans? Tama yan, Diane. Kapag may nakikita kayong mga free na ganun, alagin, mabilisan lang naman yan eh. Kaya i-grab na yan. Gusto ko yung mga ganyang mindset, Diane. Tama yan. <laughs> Shout out daw sa mga death takers. Kaya natin to laban. Yeah, ituloy-tuloy mo lang yan. Thank you, Kuya Archie. Okay. The correct answer for number 48 is letter A. It's Simeon Ola. Siya yung huling general na nakipaglaban sa mga Amerikano. Number 49. The last Spanish governor general of the Philippines. Sino ang huli? Okay. Sa so number 48, ayan. Good ano yan, CB? Pwede mong puntahan yung reviewer namin with Sir Vincent Conquilla about life and works of Rizal. And in-explain niya doon si Simeon Ola daw yung huli. Ayan. Pwede mong balikan, pwede mong i-balance yun kung ano ba yung tamang sagot. Okay? Kasi doon sa rationalization niya, si Simeon Ola. Balikan mo yung live session namin. I think it's number three. Yeah. Next, the correct answer for number 49 is... Ayan, tama ang mga sagot. It's letter D. It's, De it's Diego de los Rios. Very good. Alam, alam na alam nila. Ang galing. Yes. Okay. Last but not the least, number 50. During the Spanish era, who was the last revolutionary leader who waged the longest war against the Spanish government? Last, or sorry, who was the revolutionary leader who waged longest war? Sinipin, nakamahaba. 
na nakipag-gera sa mga Espanyol. Okay. The correct answer for number 15, bago natin i-reveal, okay, baka naman pwede. Okay, baka naman, uh, let's uh, kind of type your name and then put an LPP. Yan, i-shout out natin yan bago tayo mag-end mamaya. Again, kapag nakasagot na kayo, you write your name and then add LPP. I-claim mo na yan para, okay, para magkatotoo na. Tapos, i-screenshot nyo. Tapos, kapag Um, kapag nakapasa na kayo, balikan niyo yun, balikan niyo kami, sabihin niyo, Sir Job, Mama Jerica, pasada na ako, LPT na ako. Yan, babalikan niyo kami, huwag niyo kami kakalimutan na. <laughs> Ayan. So, the correct answer for number 50 is, tingin niya po, okay, it's letter B. Tama ang mga sagot ng mga kaguruan natin. It's Francisco the Gohoy. Ayan. Bago natin, um, Mag-shout out ako, tapos patingin din ako ng mga scores niyo. Kamusta? May naka-50 over 50 ba? <laughs> okay lang yan kung wala. Kahit ako eh, baka ako hindi ko rin mga perfect ko eh. So, uh, isa-isayin natin yung mga LPTs natin. Rabina Cream, LPT. Merced Steven, LPT. Christian O. Arizo, LPT. Ryo Anjanette, and LPT. Yes, claiming manifest. Ito so, may pa-hashtag pa, no? Griselda, Rosemary, Verdida, Aragon, LPT soon. Ang haba ng pangalan mo, Anjanette. <laughs> Ay, sino rin din. Si ano, sino yung mahaba yung pangalan? Hindi, hindi, hindi si Anjanette yun eh. Si, si Diane. Ang haba pa ng pangalan niya. <laughs> si Karen Sgrel, Dagson, LPT. Jericho, Kuanan, LPT. Kaiseline, Emberlinia, LPT. Cream, cream ba to? Or cream, braised, Prem, Grace, and Jimenez. Uh, Jimenez pa kita, no? LPT. Si Diane, naka-43 over 50 daw siya. Arjan C. Gapilango, LPT. 2023. Kinlay niya na, ay, good luck, ha? Jumaica Pelayo, LPT. Yes, thank you so much, Sir Christian. Ayan. At mag-thank you na siya sa amin. You're welcome. Melody T. Laliman, LPT. Gusto niya yung isa-isa ko, parang graduation, no? Kiniklaim na kasi natin. Kina- ano to, mag-isindi kong bas-bas. <laughs> uh, si Joren, si Joren, ito, kanina pa to eh, act very active to eh. 45 over 50, congrats Joren. Si Arlan din, eh, active dito si Arlan. 45 over 50. Si Getacello, Getacello, Getacello. John Rose, or Jean Rose, G, L, P, T. Christine Joy M. Bautista. It's uh, L- Christine Joy M. R. Bautista, L, P, T. Amora, Edward Estimada, LPT, Trasha, Trasha, or Trasha, 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 Glide, Aragon, LPT, Yanyo, Archie, Fernandez, LPT, ayan, si Archie, they're very um, supportive. Si Krem, 38 over 50, Sagun, Myra, Myra, sorry, Sagun, Myra, LPT, 2023, ngayong September ka rin, good luck. Si Dana, 42 over 50 daw siya. Joren C. This, uh, this year, do Top 1. Ay, gusto ko yung pa-top 1, no? Gusto ko yung pa- may pa-top 1 siya. You're welcome, Mr. Richard. Ganyan, Neva. Si Dagatan, Daisy May, LPT. Yun, si Cream daw, 44. Not bad. Hmm, perfect. Okay na yan, 44. Casada, Rod Victor, LPT. Yan. Thank you, thank you. Si Dana Kate, Bunagan, LPT. Glenn, Jomar, A. Benliro, LPT. Yan, ay, LPT QT, sabi ni Daisy. Yan, may naka-41 over 50. Thank you, thank you so much. Magpatas kong may misensya. Uy, claim na natin yan. Totas pala hindi ko. Sana talaga makapasa kayo lahat dito sa amin. So, 41 over 50. Ang ganda pakinggan, no? Diba? Gusto ko iniisa-isa ko kayo eh para maraming makuha natin. Okay, so, anyway, congratulations. Thank you, thank you sa pagsama sa amin lahat. Sakto, one hour tayo na nakatawa na isang oras lang. We already have our 50 questions. So, your support, mothers, sa lahat kung natawa kayo, baka naman pwede kayo mag-share ng blessings. It can uh, any, be in any way we, can, we have here. Our Gigas, dahil libre lang to, baka naman pwede kaming uh, makahingi ng, uh, ng counting blessings in any way that you can. So, yeah, this is our cure. And also, here, ayan, 
um, again, thank you for supporting Fast Drills. See you next week. We will be having our another speaker next week. So watch out. It, it's always Saturday. Pag live drills tayo with rationalizations, it's 8pm. Pero pag fast drills, most probably mga 10pm. So yeah, see you next Saturday, Kaguruan. Again, thank you, thank you so much. Salamat sa pagsama sa amin. Bye-bye and have a good day. Good luck, future LPT.